The Pink Slime of McDonald's. Sounds a little like a short horror story, no? Well, for the fast food titan, it almost was. If you've been on the internet sometime in the past decade, you may have come across this image. The image in question is the first known instance of the pink slime controversy, wherein supposed leaked materials suggested that McDonald's world-famous Chicken McNugget was associated with the less-than-appetizing paste. So what exactly is the pink slime? Where did it come from? And is it by chance a part of this dippable meal? Let's find out. We're looking into a mystery, not telling you what is and isn't healthy. If you're eating something with a label on it, chances are there's a lot more information on the back, on a website, or on a post-it note for the cashier to read out to you if asked. This is meant to be an unbiased approach to a controversial subject. With that out of the way, let's get into it. What is a chicken nugget? The product of Cornell University poultry and food science professor Robert C. Baker, a man whose legacy not only includes the introduction of nuggets to the world, but turkey ham and chicken hot dogs as well. With regards to the nuggets, Baker pioneered the process of keeping the breading attached to the portions of meat as they fried. With the help of Joseph Hotchkiss, who at the time served as assistant professor of food science but currently is chairman of the entire department, Baker also developed a method of delivery with modified atmosphere packaging and vacuum packaging, which did away with the previous method of just packing it on ice and shipping it. Let's fast forward to 1981. I believe that regardless of what happens from here on out, historians will recount 1981 as the year that McDonald's introduced Chicken McNuggets. <laughs> McDonald's started rolling out their first batch of America's favorite golden brown snack after Tyson Foods commissioned the recipe a few years prior. The first iteration of the nugget we all know today was developed by McDonald's first executive chef, Rene Arend, in 1979. I'm into nuggets, y'all. I'm into nuggets, y'all. I'm into nuggets, y'all. McDonald's! Mm. McNuggets, 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 McNuggets. Love them or hate them, you can't deny their place in popular culture. I want my McNugget tipping sauce, Szechuan sauce, Morty! Even from a distance, you can recognize them. That's because the McNugget comes in four different shapes. You've got the bell, the boot, the ball, and the bone. Why these four shapes? Well, the short answer for McDonald's is, the four shapes we make Chicken McNuggets in was the perfect equilibrium of dippability and fun. Three would have been too few, and five would have been, like, wacky. But keeping the roster to just four shapes also maintains a consistent and easily reproducible method of cooking. So, on the topic of cooking, what exactly is a chicken nugget made out of? Generally speaking, it's broiler meat, which can be defined as livestock bred specifically for meat production. Most of what you're getting in a chicken nugget is a split breast of white meat poultry. Don't be too alarmed by the word most, though. Legs, thighs, skin, or other boneless meats are also introduced to enrich flavor and add some texture. After a process of grinding, the meat is formed, breaded, and cooked, not unlike a traditional meatball. After that, we're left with the classic image so many are familiar with, the McNugget, in one of its many four shapes. Not five. That'd be crazy. Seems a little too simple, right? Well, there are a number of resources online that bring this process to light. Some go as far as inviting reputable members of the public, like Mythbusters' own Grant Imahara, to witness firsthand the manufacturing process. To those unfamiliar, Grant used to be a member of Mythbusters, a show talked about as being influential to the scientific community, particularly as an introduction for younger audiences. Also, another part of his brand involves building robots and having them murder one another, so needless to say, the man's got some credibility, not just as a witness, but a professional. So where on earth does the pink slime fit into any of this? What is this? Thanks, Grant. Uh, where were we? Right. At first glance, the slime looks similar enough to a processed byproduct of mechanical separation, the end result being a paste-like slurry substance. Mechanically separated meat, however, is not part of the McNugget process. Detailed in an article by the National Chicken Council, which is a lot less exciting than what I envisioned, states, Like all meat and poultry products, however, mechanically separated poultry is regulated and inspected by USDA, and products containing it must declare it as an ingredient on the label. Mechanically separated meats are common enough in the food industry, but the consistency it produces is typically found in the manufacturing of products like hot dogs or bologna, not McNuggets. But to clarify, this method of meat processing is not the same as pink slime. That's a common misconception, and I hope you had your lunch about four hours ago because we're finally going to tackle that nasty goop next. Alright, you knew we were going to get here eventually, so let's just cut to the chase. 
The horrible sight pictured here has no trace or origin that I can report on with any good conscience. It's a gross, pinkish meat tube without any discernible purpose. Kinda like me some mornings. So let's get into what we can discern from the picture alone. Uh, since there's nothing to citate or cross-reference, we have only our assumptions to go on. The slime comes out of a conveniently cropped out piece of machinery. A um, little tip to any wannabe whistleblowers out there, uh, take a picture of something like a logo next time. We call that a lead. We've got two employees in the shot. Well, one employee for sure. I don't know where that other arm is connected to, really. There's a garbage can in the back, and the slime is going into a cardboard box. Uh, somehow I think our workers got these two instruments mixed up. And that's it. Really. I mean, there's just not a lot here. Uh, there's a reason why whenever this image is brought up to a PR person or manager, they're just as surprised as anyone. We don't know what it is or where it came from, but it has nothing to do with our Chicken McNuggets. And I don't know where that picture came from, but that's not used in Chicken McNuggets. Even if we entertain the idea that they're covering this up or lying to us about their knowledge, it demonstrates how unimportant this photograph is as a piece of evidence. Outside of just being visually unpleasant, there's nothing to connect it to McDonald's. In retrospect, one could look at the pink slime controversy as a popular demonstration of the bandwagon fallacy. To hop on the bandwagon is to take up a cause through influence and persuasion alone, oftentimes to the dismissal of critical information. Or as Professor of Political Sociology Rudger Schmidt Beck states in an essay on the risk of bandwagon thinking, a precondition of bandwagon effects is that people accept an aggregate phenomenon beyond the realm of their personal experience, which therefore cannot be directly observed, as a point of reference for their own attitude and preference formation and thereby reify it as a social fact. Look, there are plenty of reasons to feel strongly one way or another about McDonald's, or their nuggets, or any idea, really. Childhood memories could sway an opinion just as easily as an unsourced photograph. It could be a documentary that brings you over the fence, or a rebuttal documentary that could compel you with evidence, but just as easily have you persuaded on the grounds of it being the other team. You know, maybe we won't be able to close the books on just what that original pink slime image is, or where it came from, but the context of the picture can be understood. We can determine that regardless of the photo's origin, what it contains is as important to your Happy Meal as you would like it to be. But on the grounds of whether or not it is in fact a Chicken McNugget, I think we can definitively say that in the realm of fact-based evidence, it's just pink slime. You know, suddenly I'm not so thirsty anymore.